You know what? Hat shoe. Look at that. There's nothing there. Hi guys, it's Chris, and welcome to another something with Amiga stuff. You always know it's a good day when you get one of these and one of these. Now, I already have this in a different form, but I needed this for this. What the heck is it? This is the XSurf 100 from Individual Computers. I bought it resold through Amiga Kit because they had it in stock. Individual Computers was out of them for some reason, but they had the USB one, and uh, but I got that through Amiga Kit too. So this is a Zorro 2, Zorro 3 network card. Comes with a nice big hole in it to stick your finger in. And uh, one jumper for setting the Z2 uh, downgrade to Z2, which I will have to do. Because I am going to put this in the 2000 with the Vampire. I know I already have a Vampire V2 EXP ETH dot device off that little tiny uh, $6 ENC uh, yeah, 28J60 that I got off eBay previous video. But I wanted to have uh, USB. So that is why I bought the Rapid Roadshow, Roadshow, whatever the hell it's called. USB dude, and that looks like, oh, that, and that will plug on to here like that, I guess, because it's the only way it can fit, poop, and we're done, thanks for watching, no, so, uh, oh, I'm going to make sure I put this in the correct way, I presume it's this way, and get this sorted so let me get the 2000 hooked up and yeah the lid is on just so you can I will prove it look so the 2000s right there the lids on I have a bunch of other stuff you see uh, project 1200 over there uh, the morpho s machine is down there along with another monitor that's what this thing is and, uh, Bob's hanging out in the back with the microphone in front of his face that's what we're gonna name my Halloween right. so here we are the 2000 is placed I got the screws out doesn't take the lid off yet what is this easy net stuff? Amiga Kit Easy Net. It's a CD. I don't have a CD drive, but it also comes on a floppy network driver installation. Caution. Keep away from magnets. XSurf 100. ICOMP DE. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Very nothing to this card. I mean, there isn't nothing to it. It comes with uh, one RJ45. And two USBs. But apparently the USBs don't work until you plug this thing in. And then you get some more plugs, which look like double Molex plugs, which I'm not going to run because I've heard... Oh, good. I've heard bad things about people blowing up their drives or blowing up this board. So I'm not even going to power it. I'll run a hub if I need to run powered crap. You know what? Cut shoe. That's the way to clear a virus. Let's see. It didn't look too bad. Whoops. And I am going to leave my vampire ethernet. It's not hurting anything. What it looks like is this mess right here. This is my, ooh, this is my GVP 4008 with 8 megs of RAM. And uh, this is the little card I put in with the, that well, was an Amiga 500 power supply. With the JTAG dude. But, I'm going to need a slot. Looks like old paper. Insert the card to a free Zorro 2 or Zorro 3 or fast Z2 slot. Alright. Close the jumper to downgrade to Z2 speed. The 48 pin expansion connector is meant exclusively for the USB module. It is not possible to connect anything else here. Two USB connectors are not functional without the USB module. Assuming you have read and understood the manual of your TCP stack, we understand the scope. That year, blah, 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 blah. So you get a bunch of drivers. Xsurf-100 dot device for 60,000, 2040, 030, Z3, 030, Z3, fast or safe, basically. Uh, run the program Xsurf test. 
Only start this if your TCP IP stack is offline. It's just diagnosis. Restart your computer after this tool has been run. Okay, the Rapid Row can deliver 1.5 amps of power to each of the two USB ports. That's three times the power of a normal USB port, so it should be enough for power-hungry devices. Unfortunately, it's not possible to draw this amount of power from a Zorro slot. If you're not using an active powered USB hub, there we go. Make a correct direct connection to your power supply with one of the floppy power connectors. You can use any of the two white connect power connectors of the Rapid Road. Not doing that. So this is the back of the metal bracket. Just like this. That's it. You gotta have MUI to download Trident, which is the GUI for Poseidon, the USB stack. It'll be in prefs. You have to be an NTSC interlace or PAL interlace. Should you choose a screen mode with a lower resolution, you can change it with a screen mode program, blah, 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 blah. You can skip the following step if you've already created a configuration during Poseidon. Click on the control button, choose the Rapid Road XS100 device. Plug in a USB stick and it should automatically be found and shown by a window in Poseidon that pops up after the stick has been found. Listen, if I seem like a noob to all this, look, this is new to me, so this is just my documentation of the Rapid Road XSurf 100 module, or Rapid Road for XSurf 100. I know you can use these on 1200s and stuff too, but plug this into this slot here. And that Zoro is a tight one. Now I guess we just turn it on. Sorry that I'm doing the cam thing again on the screen and not the capture. This is the Amiga Kit Easy Net. Now I'm already rocking Miami, so we'll see what that does. Alright, we're going to take the 040 here. We're going to go to... Oops. I could type it, but I'm lazy. Devs. Networks. And... Copy this one. Copy XSurf test to the C drive. Control X. XSurf. Oops. X dash S U R F dash 100 dot device underscore 040. Enter. And then I want to install this USB thing because that's the whole reason I bought this card. It wasn't for the network card at all it was for the USB I got lights on here look at this it's got like a US white light right there you see that that white light right there so it's doing something X surf test all right so here's the X surf test so you have to install it off the floppy disk Start the USB stack and create a configuration. I didn't run it off the floppy. I want Poseidon to be started automatically on boot up. Yes. Adding loading of new input device to startup sequence. Please reboot after your in installation for the new input dot device to become active. Okay. Posi all Poseidon files installed. Enjoy. Read the readme in the help directory. After that, load up Trident so we found your pref store. If you've got a flash ROM, be sure to update the contents with this new version as well. Proceed. Eject. Reboot. Let's do this prefs thing. Trident. Trident something. Controllers. Nothing happens. A new USB release. Okay, cool. Check it out. Awesome. There's my Lexar USB. 30 gigs free. Well, that's cool. So, I'm going to copy what? Let's copy... I don't know. My MP3 directory. That is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18 megs of data. Okay, so MP3 says 18 megs. Copy to USB device. Not bad at all. It's about the same speed like it is on the network. Look at the hard drive light.
Yay! Copying all these mods. How, let's get the size first. Fifty-three megs. I don't need fifty-three megs. What the hell? Copy it. All right, that was fifty-three megs in like what a minute or so. Not bad. What? Let's uh, let's play one. Let's just use Hippo. And I'm gonna add a mod. We're gonna go to volumes. Choose Lexar. Ah, the volume name is UMSD. We'll choose mods. Mr. Cox and Mumbai. Play. Okay. While this is playing, I'm gonna load the other mod off of the Lexar. Whoop. Space debris. Next. What? Space debris off a of USB drive. Cool. Okay, cool. So that works great. DHCP, Miami is online. Cool. Control Alt M. We'll use crappy AWeb. Mnet.net. Go ahead. So that works on this. That this is a three one four one. Three one four one on a three dot one ROM with all the modules crap because the vampire runs on a three dot one ROM. Turn this off. Plot my HDMI. Take my coffin R fifty four and go to HDMI. And turn this on. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do nothing with Coffin. Tried it. Awesome. Okay. Controllers. New. Next surf. Online. Thank you. Save. Okay, so apparently it was already installed on Coffin. Plug it in a USB. There it is. Cool. Oh, uh, it just disappeared. Lexar is right here. There's my mods. There's my stuff. And I know this is an older card, and this has been around for years, but it's new to me because I never felt like spending the money on it because it's expensive. I mean, this, these two things alone were like 200 and something dollars to the ship to the U.S., and I kind of did it expedited FedEx. So I got it in three days from the U.K., including customs so you pay for that it's uh something i've been wanting to get especially for the 2000 which is kind of like my hoss that i love the 3000 but i wanted usb for classic-ish amiga os and this is the only way to go i've heard people having bad luck with their rapid roads mainly when they're powered i'm going to use an external hub i'm not running any power for that usb at all usb works that's what i wanted quit this speed what are we rocking system info we are currently running uh vampire core 2.1.2 rc2 rc3 darkens out my screen 347 megahertz it's the next 12 clock i haven't checked in a while to see if there's any updates one mega chip ecs uh 46.143 os workbench 45.5 it's still running off that rom huh let's fix that that chew that's why I like the two monitors. Okay. But that is the X Surf with the Rapid Road USB controller. Now, what I can do is this. Let's uh, launch NetSurf. Let's quit Directory Opus. So we're going to launch NetSurf. This is an OS4. Uh, it's also on Morph, like OWB. And we're going to go to Google. Yeah. That loads the google.uk one. That's not the right site. Google.com. If you guys in the uh, EU or the United Kingdom actually type google.co.uk for everything, or you just go to google.com. And a speed test, this one. Just to see if it does anything better. Still doing something. I don't know what's doing. Okay. So my upload is faster than my download, but... Okay, 
that's fine for me. It's about the same regardless of what Ethernet card I use. And like I said, I only really want the rapid road for the stupid USB module. So kind of an expensive uh, turd for that. And I have the Vampire if I want it. I might just remove it because it's the JTAG port. And uh, just use the Rapid Road since it's working. So that's it for the Rapid Road and the Xsurf 100 network card with the Rapid Road USB controller, non powered. Just straight out the box, plugged her in, and hooked the drive up. We installed the EasyNet software for the drivers, and we installed the Poseidon unmarked DV. Uh, unmarked floppy with the uh, Trident USB GUI for the Poseidon and it works fine straight out of the box no configuration no nothing no power plugs on the uh, the Xsurf rapid road thing it's just uh, sitting down here there it is very tiny very 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 low profile and I love it if you're interested in purchasing this I bought mine from Matthew on Amiga Kit like I said, it took three days to get here in the United States, but I paid for expedited shipping. It's usually a couple weeks if you're from out of town in the United Kingdom. Uh, but you guys all over there, I'm sure you were using AmigaStore.eu or uh, iComp.de, which is individual computers, and I love their boxes. And that's who makes these. I just bought mine, resold through Amiga Kit because iComp was out. So, two thumbs up for me. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.